Hello YouTubers, how are you guys? This is a new tutorial for the 2019 year. It's for the new computers, for the new main boards like Asus Extreme Rampage 5. So how can we make this simple operation of uh, turning on a PC but on a 4G or 3G network? Well, it sounds simple, but in fact, it's very complicated. So I wanted to make another tutorial for you guys to help you guys uh, for this year because it's a painful process. I stayed two days for making this simple operation and uh, at last I succeeded and I want to share my experience with you as uh, we always do. So guys, let's cut to the chase. First of all, first of all, I uh, installed from my uh, Asus Rampage 5 the BIOS 380 uh, or something, I will tell you now. The BIOS version is 3701. I installed the LAN driver from the uh, main sport disk and not from the internet. I think it will work from the producer page, but do not install it from other website. Um, I learned in these years from the experience that, uh, for example, some drivers are optimized for, for that product. So, for example, um, if uh, you will take an Intel driver, uh, this is Intel for example, the internet, uh, from the Intel's website it cannot be optimized like the producer, the Asus, optimize it for this mainboard to turn, to turn it on by wall, by wake up online. This is for Romania basically, but you got to have a provider that gives you this junk uh, router, sorry, that router by Fiber Optics, it doesn't have a lot of information. Let me zoom in. I'm gonna show you how I configure it. I gotta tell you from start, guys, please don't get upset if you will not succeed this operation. I stayed two days trying to build with a second router. Uh, I had a TP link from this ZTA. I didn't succeed. I succeed only in this ZTA. So, as you know, this is a delicate operation and it will take you nerve of steel to manage yourself to start your computer by your mobile phone. So, now, so guys, now in WLAN is that PPPOE uh, with user and password login. Okay, do that. Put your password, put your uh, authentication for your uh, network provider. Then, like in this, username and the password. And then, in port binding, we don't have anything. The wireless LAN, you can leave it like uh, the router came with the settings. So now guys, uh, for example, I have the local Wi-Fi go at network connections, network and sharing center and the, the status. You have details. Press on details. So I'm covering with the snippet to my MAC address. When is the physical address? Take your MAC address from here. Behind this snipping tool. You have the MAC address here. Well, as I said, for safety reason, I'm keeping the safety tool over my MAC address. Okay, take your MAC address, write it down. Take your AP. 192 whatever where your AP here address is and your default gateway take here your default gateway go to the security make sure it's not enabled the uh, filter some kind of filtering make sure you you have not enabled this and make sure on the VLAN uh, access control list is not enabled. You will have problems connecting with the devices, so keep it disabled. Uh, this is not uh, this is not for wake up on LAN, but I will uh, I will tell you hit an uh, DTA router. So now on the application you will have DMZ host. Enable it and enable your one connection. It's internet. You will select it. It will appear and enable MAC mapping. Here you will put that MAC address, that physical address from your internet that I showed you previous. Put your MAC address there. Enable, enable. Okay, let's move on to port forwarding. In the port forwarding guys, enable like I had. Uh, TCP and UDP are enabled for all the ports. I enable for port 9. Use the port 9. The Wake Up Online uses mostly the port 9. 
enable the port 9 uh, enable that default gateway if you saw previous I had a default gateway 192.168.1.1 so put your here from the start the uh, default gateway and put it to the last one 199 at the end and the LAN uh, host IP address put 1 and 2 we have here uh, 108 1.3 the uh, LAN address you can put try with 1.3 or you can put 1.2 so uh, try numbers close to that and see if it works if you put here 304 it will work but put numbers closed. I try with this Y92168121 and it worked. Enable it, enable it, modify it, save the, the settings, and uh, we're good to go next. And this router, you did everything in this F660RV1 router. Like I said, I don't like this router at all. Now, guys, when you made all the settings, uh, when let's go and make the settings for the the card for the for the Ethernet property so this is Intel is not real tech uh, you have to configure it so let's configure it guys I struggle here and pull my hair from my head and I found out that only this option works so now uh, if you have this uh, power management, sophisticated power management, so guys, if you have this internet connection, check the response RP, check this first box, this respond to NS request without uh, waking the system. This will not affect, but this, the energy efficient internet, it worked like a couple of minutes, I don't know, 10 minutes, half an hour, but then this energy efficient Ethernet cuts the power to the LAN or doesn't remember that you put it uh, in the wake up on LAN and you have to disable it. Disable this feature. Okay, another feature wake up on magic packet and wake up on magic packet from the power of state. Okay, now we have the pattern match. You can try with this. Do, uh, my wake up on our work even with this one pattern match. So you can try with this even with link settings. But I got to warn you. Sometimes the computer turns off, by, turns on by itself. So I unchecked a couple of boxes. You have to try it. This is not a fixed math. I'm, I'm trying to say I'm not 100%. It's not sure 100%, but uh, it will make you work this. But don't skip this video and pay attention. After you did this, another thing that will lose your mind because you will not know what uh, will make your uh, computer not waking up from LAN is if you have a Wi Fi. So if you have a Wi Fi, I had a surprise. <laughs> Uh, in the power management it's allow the computer to turn off this device to save power from this box that is ticked it doesn't have any relations with the Ethernet with cable this is Wi-Fi but I uh, saw that it affects the Ethernet so I uncheck it or click OK the Bluetooth network connection I don't think this it uh, has any any problem but I also unchecked that box okay guys once you did this operation you don't have to do anything you will succeed you have here um, you have here all kinds of and I'm gonna tell you a tip for those of you who have advanced adaptive settings go at um, performance options and properties and make your uh, LAN card work at maximum um, I had a surprise having uh, 500 megabytes per second something like this cable and not work to the maximum capacity so now uh, here is the problem it's on adaptive for example on the default when you install the driver put it on extreme click OK OK and now you will have a maximum uh, capability working uh, LAN, ca uh, LAN card now 
now we have the BIOS, the BIOS. Let's restart the computer. Let's go into the BIOS. Oh, the problems that are there. And uh, let's solve them. I will explain to you to try to figure out. Um, I saw a couple of videos while it's restarting. I got to tell you a little story. I search a couple of videos on YouTube. I search my own videos. I review my old videos with the, the tutorial Wake and Glow on LAN that didn't work for this router, didn't work. Uh, and this is why I'm making this tutorial, a new tutorial. And I got to tell you, some guys will tell you this operation is very simple, just forward a port. This is. Uh, not true it's a rubbish thing to say this bios give me a lot of headaches because uh, my post-production system uh, was freezing at the push of the power on button from seven turns on uh, five was uh, with problem i had to restart it i have to reset the bio the bios and eventually i made the perfect overclocking settings for now in the wake up online guys you have to go on the apm configuration and this is all we need for this uh, land to make it work guys you will have like this probably in the apm configuration from power of put it to last state and the power on for pca and pci enable it so enable it go back this is all you have to do on the onboard devices uh, do not it's not important this PXA option um, I put the, the all the features on this BIOS on, the, on this Windows to make it work and I uh, didn't succeed so eventually after testing all there is in this BIOS and in Windows I succeed and uh, this is why I want to share my experience with you guys okay after this guys you don't have to do anything just save your changes save your changes now guys to continue download yourself from google the wake up online monitor this recommends this uh, website recommends microsoft you have wake up online you can send from these the packages like the phone to test them over the internet so guys after you opened up these two programs you can send this you have a LAN monitor that you will insert port 9 and when you insert the port 9 click on start this is the way to ignore the madness in your mind because if you will make testing a hundred test while you wait to close your computer to open it up with uh, your phone you will go madness with this program you will save you a lot a lot of time in testing so now put in udp in port 9 try for example let's say one in local 1.1 wake up so it works guys i click on wake up it sends the magic pocket on uh, the local subnet so if you remember here I put the local default uh, gateway on the local subnet. So the local subnet is the modality which you can open your computer, you turn on computer, I keep saying open, no, turn on your computer with the Wi-Fi, for example with the Wi-Fi from your phone, from your phone's Wi-Fi local route, so it's that ZTE rubbish route at the wake up on LAN, let me show you the softwares i use the wake up on LAN is this program well just install it open it and in this software guys you got to put let me give you more details the mac address i kept show you and i will show you now uh, further in this tutorial how to make yourself the address because you got to help got to use a dynamic dns so I will show you right away how you can make this dynamic DNS and here in the address you will put the dynamic DNS, the port 9 and the MAC address we have written in the previous, in the beginning of this tutorial. And here put a name, whatever you want. Now guys, after we made the application we will set the dynamic DNS for those of you who don't have on the router, on the, this, this ZTA's routers 
you won't succeed because you will have got to use a dynamic DNS. Uh, if you don't want to open it from 4G network and you want to open it from your local router Wi-Fi, you can put that 192.168.11, the default gateway, and it will work. It will open up your computer. So guys, from my account I have the dynamic DNS, let me zoom in here. And guys, here in the field I'm covering with the snipping tool my dynamic DNS. You have to put something like, I don't know, a, a name. Testing wake up on LAN or wake up on LAN dot go dot row for the Romanian domain for example. And uh, while you did this, it uh, automatically runs. So, because I put it this, I am a client to the DG Romania, I'm a client to the RDS, and this makes automatically sending the packages, the porting, the 9 port, and the wake up online port, it's opened. I don't think it will work with no minus IP.com. Uh, you can try, but this di DNS uh, dynamic, dynamic DNS. It's made by uh, RDS to work to wake up on them for these rubbish routers because the routers that don't have an option. It's not, it's not like the TP Link or other brands, good brands that uh, you will uh, you will use the built-in uh, dynamic DNS. So save this and let's go for them. So here, guys, send options. Go at the internet now after we made that uh, and let's see uh, internet address let's see if it works with 198.168.11 so at my surprise it works but this is not what I'm trying to do so this is my domain now the go.row and for example testic or wake up online or whatever you want to put your domain and click on wake up so now to be a hundred percent sure that it will work from uh, the internet put yourself the 4g on the network now let's go in the application and i'm not going to show you on my mac but i will show you if it works and let's focalize again there and while i press here take a look at the that wake up on our monitor and you see it catches packages look at the bar so now I'm doing this from I uh, cleared the box and I'm doing it again in the 4G and let's show you here in my office I don't think but I have H H plus <laughs> okay and let's do it push okay package package push twice push for time and it works and this is how you can do the testing this will avoid you a lot a lot of headaches and problems these programs until i find them i made the testing with the computer close the computer open the computer close the computer open the computer it was a nightmare believe me so guys from the application let's turn on the computer with the 4g i have 4g now and we succeeded after days of planning, days of stress, I finally made my uh, production, post-production system work again. So over our 4G connection, let's see, let's start the system. And it worked.